What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the alpha male. Let's get straight into this, man. Because if I could explain to anybody how lonely pregnancy is... Oh, you Where's I, your man at? <laughs> I can't put it into words. Cue it. So Cue the song up. Now you're a <laughs> You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. <laughs> I finally got the message, you know. He didn't love me. He didn't. He didn't even like me. How do women cry without any tears? Can somebody, like, this is, to me, it's just so. It's so suspicious. How do y'all be crying so hard and I don't see a single damn tear? Hashtag, where are the tears? <laughs> you like the moon? Oh, yeah. So. I have been so hesitant to post about this um, for two reasons. Wait, close your eyes and tell me if this don't sound like a man. Shots fired! Shots fired! I've been so hesitant to post about this. <laughs> then don't post it. Number one, I don't like negativity and I don't want to be like the bearer of bad news. Uh, number two, I didn't want to believe it. But after doing so much research and uh, getting a lot of messages, kind of uh, I'm going to just deliver the unvarnished truth to you guys. Okay, see. We're just going to lay it out straight. We're in a dating crisis. Not basically, we are. That's what's happening. So okay. let me look at my research here because I don't want to mess it up. So men... If, if these aren't statistics and data and this is from like comments i'm gonna be furious looking for casual dates and our relationships is down 50 percent five zero it's a lot since 2019 not since Dang. 1970 since 2019 right and that's a short that's a short time ago 2019 just a few years ago right before the pandemic down 50 percent they're not looking which means if you're a woman looking they don't give a shit. So as this trend continues, by 2040, 45% of women will be alone. 45% of women between the ages of 20 and 45 will be single and childless. Yeah. In America, men are increasingly disengaging from the dating scene due to perceived challenges in investing in modern women. St well, and it's mainly because you ladies have an inflated sense of self. You're putting yourself on the market thinking you're worth Lambo prices, where at best you're one of those old school Datsun trucks. Shots fired! Shots fired! You guys have seen those Datsun trucks. They're like this big. You could fit it in your whole pocket. You guys have seen them. You're not worth it. You have an inflated sense of self, an inflated sense of ego, and you think your value is a lot higher than it actually is, when in reality, you're really not worth that much. You ladies can't cook. You can barely clean. Your cars are filthy. You don't know how to dress. All you know how to dress like is a prostitute. You're not womanly. You're not fit. You're not beautiful. You're not inspirational. Fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. And, you're, and then the other one, we want you to be childless. You can't even be that. Because now you got, you, now you're a baby mama. You're a single mama. You said I'm a house kid. can't even get you without a child. Goodness gracious, the stock market values of these modern women are plummeting right now. Single, and you are in the dating marketplace at that time, when that happens, say you're 37, 36, 38, Oof. 40, whatever it may be, and you Damn. are still on the hunt for that man. Baby girl, the hunt is over. <laughs> it's, it's not a hunt anymore. You're scavenging. You're getting whatever you can get. You're getting the leftovers of the world. You're scavenging. You better, you're grasping at straws. You better, any man that double takes you, marry him. And you hit the wall and you can see in your face that you are no longer the face that you were at, what, whether it was 30 or 35 or 25, whatever it is, you are going to be panicked. Because now you know that you are going to compete with women who are younger, mm -hmm. who are largely more fertile, not mm -hmm. always, but largely speaking, yes. Yep who have that youthfulness to them, mm -hmm. who have that estrogen, progesterone, whatever the hormonal balance is that makes someone young, it's there and you're losing it. 
And you become hyper aware of that. And that is why women begin to panic. You know what I want to talk about, you guys? So I live in New York, specifically Brooklyn, and I be outside, you know, enjoying summer as I should. And I've been going to the block parties, all of that good stuff, you know. I'm going to keep it a buck, man. I hate short hair. I, I absolutely hate it. If a girl has shorter hair than me, it's a no. Day parties has been a time. But the problem is the men just stare at you. Well, because she, you can tell she's feminine, but like, why'd you shave your head? Where's your hair at? Like, we want you to have longer hair than us. Long, natural hair. That's what men want. Why would you go against the grain and do this? They just stare at you the whole time. They don't approach you. They don't want to get to know you. They don't want to, oh, do you want to drink? It's just a staring contest the whole time. I'm trying to figure out how am I supposed to meet my future husband if the men are not approaching? Because I'm not approaching a man. Well, like, then I guess you can just die alone. <laughs> you don't want to approach a man? Then just keep doing what you're doing. It's giving the men want to be chased now. That's what it's giving. And I'm Drizzle, like, dri we are in our soft guy era, baby girl. We are in our soft guy era. You need to step up to the plate and chase us. We got all the money, the value, and the resources. You're ran out on these streets. You got no value. And you're older. What do you mean, chase that? Chase a Datsun truck that I can fit in my pocket? Are you out of your pee waddly mind? No, we're not doing that. We've 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 awoken. Us men are awake now, and we go, wow, we we really are the prize. You ladies better chase us. There's like so many more of y'all than there are us. So you better get out there. You better pull your little panties up. Don't get them in a wad. Just pull them up, and you better start cold approaching these men unless you want to die alone. Which hey, that's all you, boo boo. If you want to do that. Women. In today's dating landscape. Modern women. It's crazy to me because these women really do think they be the bad that the chips, the dips, and the salsas. When in reality, at, at best, you're maybe just a little tostada. You know, you is not all that in a bag of potato chips, honey. It, it, your value is really not as high as you think it is. When they ask, "What do you bring to the table?" Your soul. My soul is the table, the chairs, the rug underneath the table. My soul are the dinner plates. My soul is the dinner. My soul is the dessert. My soul is the breakfast, the lunch, the brunch. My soul is the knives, the forks, the spoons. Stupid. My soul is everything. She belongs to the street. The table, the house, all of it. My soul. And that's what's not going to be easily replaceable. <laughs> she really thought she she really thought she did something with that. <laughs> all this what the fuck? You ain't doing nothing. You're alone. You are alone. Stupid. What do you mean? You are not the table. You are nothing right now. You need to bring something to the table because we are all those things you listed. That is us. Soft guy era drizzle drizzle. That's what we are now. Does anybody want to get married? Um, I can already tell the lips... The nose job, I, just this aesthetic. I call these women the cat women because they all look the same. They all look like cats. You guys know what I'm talking about? Let me know in the comments. Like, let me know in the comments what you think. When women start getting a lot of plastic surgery, they all start looking the same. There is like a Rolodex of women that look just like this. They look oh, this way. They look just like this. They look like cats. The puffy cheeks, the strong jawline, the, the lips that are out like this, the like slim nose, they all look the same. And so it's like to a per certain point, it's like you want us to treat you like you're special, but you look like everybody else. And 50 girls look like you in the same city. What are you talking about? Nobody's going to be treating you any different. You look like everybody. <laughs> Like what, what, like, what is unique about you? You just have plastic surgery. You look like every other girl. Like, stop it. I need to, to get on this. Like, I need to have kids. I need to get married before my grandparents pass away. And I also need to have kids before my dog passes away because he's a really good kid dog. Um, and I'm running out of time. You guys, it is hard Stupid. out here. So applications are open. Stupid. It'll be hard, but I'm fun. Sir. I'll show you something that's hard and fun. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> you know what I'm saying, baby girl? Let's go. You better have more than fun. What else are you bringing to the table? Can you cook, clean, take directions well? This, hey, these are very valid questions. So let's see what she says. 
What makes you think that I need to take direction from a man? Oh, I love it. First of all. I love it. I love it. I love it. Submission is so... It has such a negative connotation these days. But this is what we as men want. Fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. No children. What makes you think I need to take direction from a man? The fact that you're single and you want a man, you idiot. Stupid. Goodness gracious. This is what we want. And you're going to go against the grain and say, what makes you think I need to take directly? Let's see what else she says. Second of all, are these directions to a place I want to go? Oh, like, okay. Well, you're crying about being alone. You want a man. So, yeah, you would probably need to tuck her up and listen, honey. Home goods. <laughs> okay, die alone. Yes, I love home goods. Um... Gucci, give me the directions to Gucci. I will take those very well. Very well. Can I cook and can I clean? Yeah. Also very well. Can you build a home? Cat. Can you build a home? Honey, why would we need to be able to build a home? This is what this is what I call moving the goalpost. When we're asking her simple things like cooking and cleaning, which is normal, right? Us as men, we're expected to provide, we're expected to protect. But as soon as we're like, hey, can you cook and clean? She's like, well, can you build a home from the ground up and build the foundation, pour the concrete and put up the wall? Goodness gracious, honey. No, I'm going to pay a builder to do that. Why would I have to go out and do that? Those aren't normal things. Normal husbands aren't out there building homes. Stupid. Like, what are you talking about? But they move the goalpost to make you seem wrong. Shame, insult, guilt, and the need to be right. Let's see what else uh, bu bu buffoonery. Let's see what else she says. She thinks she's cooking too. Can you too. woodwork? Can you hunt? Can you hunt? Yeah, can you be good. a hunter? Why do you want a hunter? Is that what you want? Is that what you really think we need to do when I can buy my meat at the grocery store? Like, come on, stop it, honey. Cooking and cleaning is basic one-on-one wife duties. Let's fucking burn the patriarchy to the ground because this is absolutely absurd, uh, sir. Jump. You do not want us to burn the patriarchy to the ground. That, that that place you're living in, built by men. The lights that are on, built by men. The the clothes on your back were probably manuf manufactured by a man's idea. Stop it. On John Ways, John Wees, John Wees. Goodness gracious. It's just so funny to me that these women think they're absolutely cooking when they're on there talking about this stuff. <laughs> about women who've kind of had this high life and then they've stopped getting offers because maybe now she's hit like 38, 40. And then it's almost like they've kind of gone into this dark hole now. It's so toxic. So it's like horrible. Well, here's the thing. Most men don't feel sorry for those women and I'll tell you why. The reason men don't feel sorry for them is because the experience that she begins to go through when she's older is the experience 90% of men go through every single day the guy who works at the post office the guy who helped you pack your bag the yeah. guy who delivered your amazon parcel the guy in your class the guy that you worked with most guys are invisible it is only the high value guys that catches women's attention the guy who's mm -hmm. tall attractive and shaped successful so when women who have had that taste of the high life have been that desirable gotten all the attention everything they then get to a point where now they're being treated how most guys are treated guys don't feel sorry for them a lot of guys feel that if you wanted to have a partner, have a family, settle down, you get to that point in life and you haven't done that, it's because you fucked up because you definitely had an abundance of opportunity to do that. So it's very difficult for a lot of guys to have sympathy because for a lot of guys, I it's like, that, yeah. this is how it's been for us since day one. And most of us don't even get to a point where mm -hmm. we can attract a girl like you. You've been there. You've had the chance to get those guys, but because you decided to play around, maybe you didn't want it serious. And that's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, but you have to accept what comes with the path that you choose well the thing is us men we wanted you when you were young that's when we wanted you right we wanted you then but then you didn't want us so don't get mad at us for not wanting you when you're old we wanted you when you was younger like vivica fox right now i'm just i'm just talking about her because this is popular when she was younger all the men wanted her she didn't want us now that you're older we don't want you uh-oh life is a mirror not a window you, you attract what you are, baby girl. That's what I'm saying. Like, we don't feel bad for y'all. You're living the life that 99% of us are living right now. Mom can't be a dad. A dad can't be a mom. It is different. What, what if Summer comes to you as pretty as she is and says, Mom, I want to be a city girl? She ain't going to be no city girl. <laughs> you think that, so, so, but her so, mom's a city girl. What do you mean? You belong to the streets. She belongs to the streets. But you think your daughter's not going to? Who's she going to learn from? What kind of examples is she going to be guided by? 
Hmm? She's going to watch mommy go out there and get plowed and get ran through like the Boston Marathon. Do you think she's going to learn from what you do? More than likely. Most of the time, kids are a direct reflection of the morals and ethics that they're taught by their parents. So you're telling me she's going to go watch you get sprinted through like an escalator at the airport, but she's not going to be for the streets? She belongs to the streets. Ah, uh, that sounds a little stupid to me. Okay. Summer ain't allowed to be no city girl. Mm -mm. <clears throat> no, I want her raised totally different. Like, you know, I don't even want her to even see the light of day like that. Like, I really want her to just be like, you know, like level headed a school girl and just on a whole nother way. Like, you know, I kind of was raised different, so I don't want to raise her up how I was raised. So, you know, I'm a city girl, ain't nothing wrong with it, but I don't want that for my daughter. I'm a city girl. There ain't nothing wrong with it, but I don't want my daughter to be a sing city girl. What? Does that make any sense? Women dominated fields like education and nursing. Women who hold higher degrees, higher education, can no longer afford to work because of the cost of childcare. So they're going even more into debt with their significant student loans and then their inability to work. Women are all She's wearing a feminism shirt. I can't tell if she's on our side or on the other side, but all I will say is feminism is expensive. So in poverty more than men. We also don't get any paid parental leave. So women have to decide between bonding with their child or losing their job. You should have got a husband. Stupid. Nobody asked you to be a single mom. These women act like this is what I don't get, bro. These women ask, act like somebody put a gun to their temple and said, you better be a single mom. We ain't nobody doing that. What do you even mean? You got to make all these sacrifices. You let a guy blow his cheese in you. You got pregnant. Live with the consequences. Don't know what to tell you here, ladies. Nobody asked you to let Chad and Tyrone blow your back out and scleege all in you. You let that happen, and then you wanted to be a single mom. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. Nobody forced you to do that. Nobody tied your hands behind your back and said, you need to go be, you need to go be a single mom. <laughs> yeah. Nobody did that. You have lost your way. Modern women have lost their way. Feminism is expensive, and they're learning it live and direct. 90% of these women go for 10% of the men, and they're learning that 10% of these men have pick of the litter. They have pick of the litter. All these women want to do the six foot, six inches, six pack, six figures. They want all that, right? You got to realize that these men got options like a mug. If you want him, other women want him too. So now you're competing against those women, but you're also competing for his attention. It's, it's, it's an uphill battle. This is why I say, ladies, life is a mirror, not a window. You attract what you are. Look in the mirror and say, let me look at how much I make. Let me look at my face card and, and have some of your good friends that you know that are going to keep it a buck with you say, what, what would you rate me on a scale from one to 10 if you were the opposite sex? And if they're real with you, they'll give you a real number. But for me, I know I'm a six all day. But for a lot of these ladies, if they just said, oh, you know what? I'm a five. I'm a six. I'm average. I'm a little bit above average. The only reason I give myself a little bit above average is because I'm tall. And I know how to dress. That's pretty much it, though. I got a big forehead, a crooked nose. I look like I got a lazy eye. I got a bird beak chin. I'm not buff. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm not all that. I'm not 6'8 walking around looking like, you know, a freaking football player. I'm not yoked like a good breakfast. You know what I mean? I'm not that guy. I don't go out and get that guy results. So I know I'm not that guy. And as guys, we realize that. We go out into the modern dating market and we realize you're either that, you're either him or you're not. Or them. You're either him or them. And I'm them. I'm part of just a regular schmegs, dude. <laughs> I'm, you know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of guys that are, are not hims. And I'm not him. I'm them. I'm, I'm a regular schmegular dude. But ladies, if you could realize that you are a regular schmegular chick, you could go out there and get you another dude that is on your same level, that's synonymous with your economic status, your social status, your superficial status, your aesthetic and then you guys could be super happy and you could have some kids. But a lot of you ladies think you deserve the world when in reality, all you deserve is a little island. Just a little bitty island. Just like all the rest of us. We all get a little island. We get a piece of paradise, right? You don't deserve the world. Who are you? You're a regular schmeg. You're the runt of the litter thinking you deserve a high value man. Like, get, get out of here with all that, dude. Feminism has lied to you ladies for decades. And us men like me and a lot of other men on YouTube are trying to preach the gospel of going out there and telling you what it's really like, what men really think. 
We want feminine, beautiful, inspirational, fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, and no children outside of me or you. Have a low body count and be open to get on a man's page. Be coachable. Be malleable. Right? Know how to uplift a man. Things like that. A woman can make, oh my God, like the reason I think the modern world is as great as it is, is because men found coochie. Men were like, dang, this stuff is wet. This stuff is good. I really like this. How can I make the world a little bit easier for her so I can hit it more? That's what it was. You ladies, you ladies were our inspiration and our motivation to make the world so easy. Us men are, are cavemen. We're barbaric. We don't care. But like AC and shopping and all this retail, all these retail stores are made for y'all. That's why y'all do most of the retail shopping. You could go to TJ Maxx, Ross, and Target right now, and you probably will see only about two single men, and you will see 200 single women. It's made for y'all. That's not made for us. We just know that y'all are going to go waste a bunch of money on it. It's crazy to me. It's absolutely crazy to me. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Join the Discord if you've lasted this long in the video. I really do appreciate you guys, man. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.